Did Duck say I did? No, did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. Hello, this is Massabeam347 for another exciting playthrough of Final Fantasy XII. And today we're going to go after that mark. <laughs> yes, we are. And I did a few things off screen. I managed to gain a few levels and I got a few licenses as well. I had to go more in this direction to learn Blizzard and Libra. Once I buy it, then I'll be able to use the technique. And also I wanted to learn a particular weapon. This, the Cypress Pole. <laughs> Very handy later on. But, you know, I want her to learn more about guns, that's why I'm going to go that way. I know I'm using it for Van for the Cypress Pole just to get that weapon, because I, I know where you have to get it. But I'm going to have him go near down here. To <laughs> and around here as well with armor. Yeah, I'm not going to use the light armor forever. <laughs> It's only good for like the beginning of the game, but for the overall, like later on, you're going to want to use army better defenses. It'll also give you also better stats as well. But with that, anyway, let's carry on. Uh, oh, oh, whoops, I really forgot. Like I said, I managed to get some snake skins off screen from that giant snake. You can steal it for the chance you can actually get two. But it still took some time. <laughs> it's a quality hides. Oh, and I got a molting. That's from um, the slip there. Uh, I can show you actually with the clan primer. The clan primer chronicles your exploits, read descriptions of the foes you have slain, and uncover useful information to help you in the future adventures. Oh, uh, yes. Clan primer. This is basically helps you organize everything that you do. Just tells you about the hunts that you're doing. So that's complete because I went back and uh, did it. And this means that I haven't finished yet. I've told, I asked the person who wanted to gave the hunt. So um, now I see to beat it and then go back to the person who asked for this to be killed and then I'll get the reward. And the beast tree. Ah, yes, there's quite a few. Basically, yeah, please do, do not laugh, people. But <laughs> it's just going to, um, yeah, don't, don't even figure out thinking it's going to be short. The beast tree is going to be huge when you think about it. It's going to be so much to do. <laughs> but there we go, the slip there. This is what I've beaten. Basically, it's in, you know, it's actually in the exact same part when we um, see those um, werewolves when they were trying to steal the quality, those quality hides. <laughs> It doesn't always spawn though, so we have to zone out two screens. When it does, the steel one molting. Get a shield. <laughs> and then it's a the Sky Pirates Den, which basically... It, you could say they're like the trophies of the game, just bonus things. <laughs> and those are just tips for you to help you for beginners out, but you don't need to read that. <laughs> but the only purpose for this... Sky Pirates Den is for like near the end of the game, but like ages here. Yeah. Okay, let's go that way to the Esther Sand right there. However, though, first we're gonna sell some loot. Yeah. We have quite a lot of loot here, even more, because I did some stuff off screen. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I leveled up a little bit. Okay, let's have a look. There we go, item shop. I'm not really sure this is time where they actually can buy Phoenix Downs. I'm not sure if it's now or after when Penelope leaves the party. Uh, let's see. Ah, God, the guy is white. Dang it, that's gonna be really annoying. Yeah, I need a Phoenix down for the for the to show you the level it method. Hmm. I guess I have to do the hunt first. Then I have to ditch Penelope from doing that certain cutscene and then come back here. Hmm. Yeah.
But also, I think you get rewards for beating your first mark here. You go back to Clan Centurion during certain points of the game, you're beating certain bosses or something or certain enemies. You get rewards for it. <laughs> but no, 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 let's just go to the bazaar first. And before you actually, you don't need to go to a certain shop to do the bazaar, it's in pretty much nearly all of them. I don't even know why I exited here and went to this one. <laughs> But anyway, just sell some amount of loot. It's, oh yeah, I did get these as well. This cotton shirt from the chest to this cotton cap. But there's not much difference. Mostly do with magic, to be honest. But, for starters... Hmm, yeah, let's, let's check. I want to save some of this for later when I'm trying to get make certain weapons and stuff. <laughs> I know about the snake skins, I'm not selling those yet. No, 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 no. That's for, uh, well, you should know, folks, for the tonsil. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look see. Uh, it, hmm. Okay, that's one. Yeah, let's see. If you manage to get, do I have those? Ah, exactly. If you have two drab walls, which are from those bullies, I think you can steal a or if they drop them if you're lucky. It's from those it's from those um rabbits from Giza Plains. If you sell two of them you get a bazaar in which you will get three antidotes. That's nice. Oh whoops. Sell And if you manage to sell three large feathers which you get from those giant birds in Giza Plains, they usually drop them or you can steal from them. You can get this little pack right here, the first aid kit. <laughs> Hope for the best, plan for the worst, kit contains potions and tough of Phoenix down at the price of no bargain hunt dare pass by. <laughs> and actually yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, you get two Phoenix Downs and two potions, that's pretty nice. If you used up your Phoenix Downs for some reason, then you can do that. <laughs> and uh, lastly. Let me have a quick look see here. Hmm. Do 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 do. Where is it? Let's try to make sure. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, yes. To get a nice shield, all you have to do is you sell one molting. And one firestone. The most thing I told you we got that horse enemy, which sometimes appears the exact same spot where you fought, um, <laughs> but where you see those werewolves. <laughs> you might have seen it in the last part actually, but I probably just didn't tell you about it because um, <laughs> uh, I forgot to mention it. And with that, we get a gilt shield. <laughs> there we go. Over there, we're gonna sell some of this other stuff as well. Buy a few of these. Not the snake skins, any of those. See? Quality hide. One. Only one that costs, you can sell it for 384 gold. So it's pretty sweet. Oh, I got the Stormstone for that horse enemy as well. They dropped it. Hmm, let's see, I have quite a lot of fire stones. There we are. Wolf pelts, I have quite a few of those. I don't go completely nuts when selling stuff. There we go. I need some of stones there. Because as chances are, maybe um, I might need them for um, making a certain item. But there you see. So much gear I've made already. This is why looting is so important. It's, it's pretty much almost essential. <laughs> Well, let's see, how many potions do we have? Yeah, about 17. We've got some Phoenix Downs. Hopefully we'll be needing those. Hmm. Also, if you're super lucky, there's also another reason why you want to go after that snake enemy. I didn't, I, I didn't get it though. It's a wear steal, but if you're really, really lucky, 
You might be able to steal a um, leather breastplate from that snake enemy. Oh, oh, I haven't got the license for it yet. That's stupid me. Yeah. Let's give it to Van, because like I said, Penelope will be in your party forever, for the time being. So it's best to just, um, any important equipment, just focus it on Van for the time being. There we go. Let's increase your defences, but it's good for sight evasion, it's better than nothing. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Oh, yeah, the technique shop. Oh, right, yeah, I, can, I have well enough money now. I might as well buy the Libra technique. Uh, Libra is awesome. You can be using it quite a lot. Yeah, I think it should show right here, I think. Here we go. Excellent. Now I can use Libra technique. But you're actually surprised though, as soon as Pinello leaves, and if you come back here, they sell a few new stuff and all that. But it's only if Pinello leaves the party. But I don't want to leave just yet, I need to help with that mark. Because <laughs> I don't want to fight that giant wolf thing on my own. <laughs> Uh, this, this is where they sell a thing called gambits. Now, uh, I don't think gambits are available yet until um, a bit later. Oh, what? Sorry, still getting a shopping order. It'll be a while yet, so you may want to go. Over. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, that's why you have to wait to a certain tutorial. Yeah, you can't buy gambits yet. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that would, yeah that, would, that would make sense, actually. Yeah. Okay, let's have a quick look at the map. Uh, the clans on the other side. Well, are they going the long way round? <sighs> See me. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure. I think you get reward in Clans and Cheerio if you defeat your first bar. Let's hope I'm right about this. Don't waste you guys' time. First hand cooper. Hmm, I'm sorry about that. Ah, uh, oh, no, I guess not then. Uh, anyway, sorry about that, folks. Ugh, it's a waste of time with that. Do. But yeah, if you do certain things and beat certain monsters or whatever, then you, you get rewards. It's usually do with bosses and stuff. So you just beat bosses throughout the game, then come back here um, from time to time, you get rewards for it. No, that way leads to the to the clan centurio shop. But there's no point going there just yet. Or you can go to a shop where the bazaar increases as you increase clan rank. But at the moment, with this the Muppet, and they only sell potions, which you can get anywhere. So it's not really that special for the moment. For, for the moment. Okay, now the wolf, the giant, now this mark isn't too hard, he's only tough because he's surrounded by a lot of little wolves. However though, it's much easier when you have Pinelli in your party to help you fight this thing. It's best not to try and fight it straight away. I mean, it's best not to try and fight it with just a um, van, yeah. How many potions do I have? Sorry, I just want to make sure I'm fully prepared. Let's see, 17, oh, that's more than enough. Yeah, it's, but yeah, the, well, yeah the, at the start, if you know what items to get, you can, you can help you and give you a little bit more of an advantage during the game.
So don't try to just don't just sell loot crazy or randomly. Try to keep a few back because you never know. Okay, now we're going to go into the other desert one. This one has weather conditions as well, but they're not like they're not like the Gears of Plains when you see much later in the game. It's totally different. Basically, sometimes um, when you go for the Gears of Plains, it might be a sandstorm or something. And there's actually a certain optional boss which controls that, which controls the sandstorms. I'm not going to go after him for a long time now. Yeah, you can actually do it like after really early on in the game. <laughs> After a certain point, but you don't want to do that, that's that suicide. <laughs> but for the moment, let's go to these ones. Looks clear, but Damascus West Ascend. Here we go. The mark isn't too far away, but it's pretty close, right next to the entrance, too. One thing also, if you feel like you can't beat the mark or whatever, it's okay to run away because it's not a boss, like a giant boss battle or whatever. You can run away and stuff. A lot of people don't seem to realise this, you can just run away from them. It's also the ideal method to try and grind a certain item if you want to steal. Because some marks steal, steal some really good items. Hmm, it looks like there's no sensor at the moment. I could be wrong because of these pictures right here. The rest of the rest of the sand. Ah, no sandstorm, nice, very nice. However, then, let's use Libra. Initial target information is now available. This Libra is great. It reveals traps which are hidden on the ground and also shows the HP of all enemies that you fight. Not all enemies, though. Like, it doesn't show you like, if you're fighting an optional boss or something. Like, if you're not, it's not, you're not going to show HP, it shows you your mark or anything, or a rare game. So, yeah, don't, so, yeah that, that won't work. Which will make sense. It's around here somewhere, things near the back. Ah, I think it's right there. What the best thing to do is to get rid of these walls show around here first. Yeah. Just take them out. Here it is. That's it. You should always try and steal from marks. Don't steal from this mark. I know what they have and it's worthless. Get rid of these walls quickly first. Get rid of them. There we are. Your turn. There it is. There's our mark. It's a little hard, but not too much. Don't oh, oh, to heal, Penelope. Yeah, be careful. This thing also likes to call reinforcements. Yeah. Okay, done. Alright. Now for this guy. He's actually weak to wind. If you um, if someone managed to collect any arrow motes, which also is sort of um, which is a substitute for a spell. If you have two arrow motes, you can just kill it straight away like that. But I'm not going to do that though. Okay. Potion. Then you're low in health. Ah, no. I hate when he does that. Yeah. Stupid cry for help. Ooh, right. Ooh, I blocked it. Got ya. Next step, Hankrist. There you go. Now, not too tough, but you see how more annoying that would be if I just used Van. It likes to summon reinforcements, and oh, it just wouldn't be a mess. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, these aren't too tough to fight. See how I got a chain of eight now? It's really going up. 
But the moment I fight something else of a different species, it will break. Oh, the chest right there. I'm not really sure why I call them chests. More like urns, really. I guess the treasure urns make more sense. Ooh, Phoenix down. Sweet. That's awesome. That's all I need. Great. That is just fantastic. See how my chain keeps going up and up. Now there are other ways that a chain can break as well. And that's if um if you examine a save point. Oh, chain level. See when you defeat a certain amount of the same monster, you get a chain level. Which means more chances that loot to be dropped. And you also get a few extra effects that can help you out. See, I get a sight healing effect now as well, which is nice. Actually, there's a rare game around here, which you actually need to chain 20 of these walls. But we're not going to fight it now, there's no way. However, though, it is how you can get a really strong weapon in the game called the Gladius, which is a wind dagger. <laughs> you can easily... Um, it's a rare steel though, that's the problem. So it's super time consuming to get. Oh, there's a mine right there. Ooh, potion, not bad. And with that, we have now beaten the mark. So let's get out of here. Oh, it was not, so it wasn't an annoying sandstorm at the moment, so that was nice. But that won't always be like that though. Sometimes there will be sandstorms. But yeah, you see how much easier mark to beat when you have Penelope in your party to help you fight it. No, don't do it by yourself. So you see, it's just much easier to do with someone else in your party. So now we've gotten that mark. Beat it. Now we can... Actually, wait a minute. Oh, I know. I could buy the map. Oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah, the map from those Castrovos, oh, you know, those Moogles. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, I buy to buy the map on that. I have some extra money for you now. Let me have a look, see. Oh, it's an essential right here. Excellent. So I might as well buy that map while I'm at it. Here he is. Here we go. Yeah, this is especially useful. Especially during this, especially if a sandstorm likes to hit. Ugh. It's annoying, but it can happen. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Let's go visit Gassy. This hunt is actually pretty special because not only do you get a prize from him anyway, you get something else as well as a little bonus. You know, I, I sh I'll show you what you mean when you talk to him again. Here it is. You did it. You brought down Fex Terror. Thank you. Thank you so much. You saved me and my wife. It isn't much, but I want you to take it before helping us out. Ooh, oh, head guard. It's an extra. Was that noise? Oh, oh, it's from the game. All right. <laughs> Ooh, a teleport stone. That's nice. Very nice. Well, it's time I head back to my shop. So you should stop by sometime. Maybe I'll have a little something for you. I'm afraid it won't be much, just so don't go too far out of the way. If you happen to be near the bazaar, say hello. Agreed? And then he just disappears. But if you go to the bazaar and you can talk to him and stuff, he will help you out a bit.
But actually, wait a minute. Can I equip the headgear? Yes, I can. Awesome. Ooh, it gives me slight boost in HP. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, where am I going? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, if you manage to defeat two hunts, your rank will change. And now uh, that no, that's changed, you actually get some additional items in the shop. Or item. But I'm going to show you anyway. Oh, so, do you it's on the way anyway when you're fighting? When you're fight, <laughs> fighting, I mean, when you're talking to Gassy. Oh, fair to Cooper. Cooper, oh, you're a hedge knight already? You've been burning the midnight oil, Cooper. Tends to show your nose how to treat its hard working members correct. Here, a reward for your accomplishment. Ooh, warp rate. Nice. And two terrible stones. Keep up the splendid work, Cooper. Yeah, no, I know you don't. <laughs> Way too early. With the fighting in elite at this part of the game. But yeah, you should really do hunt in this game, don't... I mean, even if you don't want to do them now, you should do them eventually. Because some of them are the only way to activate certain side quests. It's like a giant chain, which can't begin until you've beaten that hunt. Hmm. I don't know if there are any more hunts now, but even if there are, I don't think I'm going to... Uh... And also, there's a certain person that sits somewhere along here, near the Basil area. That's for a side quest later on, but she's not here yet. But I'll tell you more about her when the time comes. Let's have a look see. Where's Gassy? Should be around here, I think. Here it is. Ah, there. I wanted to thank you again for your help. Our shipment of white safety and business has been much risk. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten enough arrangement. Go to an EY shop. Any will do. And look in the bazaar goods. I put together this sewing for good from the goods we received. You shouldn't have any trouble finding it. There we go. And this is our secret reward we get if you talk to him again. <laughs> Heard the boss gave you okay, but it's not that simple that we've got strict rules. You gotta abide by here. The thing I can sell you de depend on your clan rank. You want to crack the good stuff, best way to rank. I don't be disappointed. Didn't mean to talk your ear off. Go on, take a look what we have. For your rank, of course. Because now we're a hedge knight. Ooh, that is a new battle. This is it, the Grimmars. Grimmars are very, very important. They help you increase the drop rate of certain items on certain species of enemies. Problem is, they cost an arm and a leg. I mean, 18,000 gil? Ugh, yeah, I'm not paying money. Okay, now that we're a hedge knight, we can buy high potions from this guy if we wanted to, so that's sweet. But yeah, this basically is just defeat a certain number of enemies, and um, you get a wank on them. I mean, just beat a certain number of enemies, and your rank will increase. Pretty simple. However, this is the only place where you can get the where there's a clan shop, basically. So you need to go to Barbara Nash if you want to check and <laughs> check in a new item to get. It's also supposed to get certain equipment and some really awesome spells, like a, well, which you're going to be using like nearly all the time when they get them available. <laughs> I think we're going the long way, that's great. we go the long way. Hmm, but now that we've done that... Hmm... I wonder, what should I do? Uh, it's usually, um... Yeah, I do want to get some more Phoenix Stones, actually. Okay, then. But now that you have served your purpose, it's time you left our party. Thank you very much for the hunt against that monster, but... No, wait. No, actually, wait, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait just a second. Are there any more hunts? I can just Ah, maybe Penelope can help me fight them. I doubt it, but let's have a check anyway.
Ah, flowering cactoid. <laughs> Dentro Damascus Eustacean. A weird cactoid. <laughs> a spiteful beast threatens desert travellers and now fixes its gaze upon our humble camp. We can look this threat no longer. Hunters, two arms. <laughs> Yep, we know, you just have to be the person who enabled the contract. There we go, let's do that second part. Remember that, remember the Esther sand? Well, that's where the hunt, person hunts is. However, the problem is that um, you have to go a real long way around to... Oh yeah, yeah, I remember now. That part isn't available until after a certain event. You can't go any further into this desert. Hmm. Just don't think you can. Let me have a quick look at my guy to make sure. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Never mind. We're gonna do that hunt later. But at least I've shown you there's one available now. I'm not going to do that hunt now. So let's go back to Low Town. So I can confirm back to the map. I'm still really rusty here. And there's one down here. Oh, remember that church I was talking to you about? The one near opposite old Dallin's house. Don't go into it. Whatever happens, do not open that chest. Remember that vividly into your mind until you get the Zodiac Spear. <laughs> Good news is though, we won't be going to Old Town too often unless you're doing side quests. Oh actually, wait a minute. Uh, oh, oops. Yeah, I get I'm going to remove that, there's no point in letting you keep it. Uh, well you can keep that stuff on. But someone else might need that accessory. There we go. Hey Vaughn. Huh? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Miguelo. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. If something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Sorry, Pinello. And Pinello leaves the party. So you can go talk to him now if you want. Oh, so you got a sunstone, have you? Hand it over, my boy, and I'll use it to give the crescent stone back its magic like I promised. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Two doors, she has. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom, but that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garamsite waterway. The waterway leads to a stair, the stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. 
The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The Signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the Signet tile. Very important. Give to it the sun's power and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> and now we have the Quint Stone. And yeah, he's right about that, because remember, if you don't have Penel in party anymore, it's just Van now. So if you feel a bit underleveled, unprepared, or whatever, then, you know, level up a bit. Get some equipment. Do the hunts, which I mentioned. You should have done that hunt be you should have before going to Old Man Dallin though. That's the important part. <sighs> Squads three through six are in place. They stand ready. So far the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. Ooh, who's that? <laughs> You'll be finding out soon enough, folks. But not yet. I just wanted to show you um, that you needed to leave Pandello out, because can you see we get a few new items in shops now. Now you could go uh, so you could go straight to the storehouse fire if you wanted to. I think it shows always shows it on the map. You can go up there if you want to, but no. We're not doing that just yet, folks. Oh, remember what I told you? That chest is evil. Do not open it. Leave it to be. Just want to make sure. Just want to remind you again, folks. Cannot stress this enough. But yeah, as soon as Spinero leaves, a few new items come from available in shops. Not just the item shop. I mean, all of the shops, the equipment, um. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It, they, they clearly must have done that just in case you got stuck in the in the waterway or something. Gonna need some extra equipment. But I'll show you after those quickly. It's also weird now the shops actually start selling Phoenix Downs. Finally. So I show you the shops first and they do sell some other equipment now. I wonder if I should buy some get something better than this board sword. Let's see what they have. I think it, they do improve a bit. What? What they Maybe it's only some shops. Hmm. Look at my guy quick. Must have be all of them. Ah oh, no, okay, the weapon shop doesn't count. No oh, right. Ah, but the weapon shop has improved. And so does the magic shop. And the item shop, I knew it, I knew that one was. And the, the techniques. Okay, it's just the weapon shop. Oh, okay. So the weapon shop is holding out to this. Yeah. <laughs> We're not using this broadsword forever. But I think I already got most of the equipment through the room in the bazaar, but I might as well show you anyway in case you haven't got it. Let's see. Oh yeah, you still got much more now, sir. Oh wow, 
wow, yeah. I mean, there's armor now instead. But I'm gonna stick with the recruitment I have at the moment. The most important thing I want to get are Phoenix Downs for this method to work. Yeah, not too worried about magic at the moment. I I'm okay for the time being. But I do want to get some magic. I'll get that off screen. <laughs> Ah yes, only an arrows. Those are for the archers. Phoenix down. Oh yes, yeah. see how expensive they are to be ridiculous. Hmm. Yeah, that should do. That should be about on it. All right. Lower, I'm gonna now I'm gonna start actually showing you some wear games. Now these two wear games I'm gonna show you can be killed instantly in one hit with a Phoenix down. <laughs> uh, you're probably wondering then how do I um, target him? Um... <laughs> oh, God damn it, wrong way again. I'm never gonna get used to this. Uh. But yeah, the magic shot serves a few new healing magic. I guess to help you call against certain status effects. And the technique shot now serves first aid. Basically, the first aid, um, if you're on critical HP, it restores some of your health for free. But that Libra one, you definitely want to buy a Libra. Get it as soon as possible. It's really important. You should always use it whenever you're in the field from now on, because it doesn't cost any MP and it's free and it just it's so helpful for almost almost around almost the entire game. So yeah. Yeah I'm gonna save just in case now. Now, um, hmm. Actually, I think today I just showed how to do some of the rare games. I was trying, hoping and thinking of getting some equipment, but I'm not really sure how I go about doing that. Uh, even playing in advance is still this, this can be still tough to do. <laughs> Uh, I could buy light armor for one or two, but the, I could buy that heavy armor set one for one or two for increased defense and another stats, but the condition is that I have less health. And in the beginning of the game, that's not very good. I want as much health as possible. Now, here's the thing. You press L1 or R1 and you can switch targets. So you can use healing items on enemies. Or more importantly, here's a phoenix down on a certain undead enemy. The bodies for the same moment. Don't worry there. We're coming up with ways later on to um, increase that. Hmm. 
Because they need surrounding enemies first. different type. Yeah. Oh. Right. Let's get rid of some of these enemies first to help me make this easier. The last thing I want to do is when I'm fighting a uh, doing this technique, I don't want to zone out and to get attacked. Yeah. yeah. Pretty less right there. Hmm. Well, that actually helps quite a lot, actually. Let's see. Is it 10%? Is my health at least a 10% less? Hmm. Let's just in case I fight this guy. Ah. I was looking for that character right there. And your health needs to be really, really low. For this to work. Yeah. All right then. This rare game only appears when the character's health is at ten percent. If your HP is at, if the HP is at a ten. Ugh. Ugh. Try this again. <sighs> okay, to <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay, if, if you want this rare game to appear. What you need is that um, your maximum HP needs to be at 10% or less. And then as soon as you go to that side, that monster, will, this rare game will appear. Luckily I say beforehand just to be sure, but to make this work, you need Phoenix Downs. Yes, you need plenty of these bad boys. So, let's try it now, shall we? He should appear straight away, and as soon as he does, Press X and use that Phoenix down. Yes! Okay, there he is! Dustier! Okay, now as soon as he does, switch. Oh! Oh! Crap! Ah! Oh, I, I went to the wrong target. Ugh. Okay, that was wrong. That was completely wrong. Let's try this again. No, I didn't use the Phoenix down at least. What the? What was that? Went to a wrong target? It said Cluckatrees, didn't it? Uh. Okay, good. There it is. Now! Okay, one! Alright then. And you see that? You can get a ton. You can level it real easily there. But not only that. <laughs> If you manage to um, kill it, but not wait till its experience goes as soon as you run away, then you can keep doing this over and over again to farm. Now, did I do that right? I don't know if I did, but let me have a look. Yes, I did it correctly. Okay then. If Now, this is called the zoning method, and you can do this a lot when doing rare games. Now, if you manage to kill a monster, before it experience an LP appears and then you instantly zone out you can get it to um, reappear instantly from the last spot okay. again? oh oh I get it when it's teleporting it isn't targeted what 
the heck? No, target the... Thank you. Okay, now what? As soon as you kill it and you can and you hear that noise, that's finished your level it. There, you see that? I've got a two chain right there. You can keep doing that over and over and over and over again. You can get some pretty sweet loot to sell straight away if you wanted to. And there's a chance it might drop the flame staff. So it's really good. It's really useful there. And what level am I now? I'm on level eight already. It's a great level up method, and you also get about three license points, I think, when you kill it. And it is a rare game. Rare games, they're, um, they're monsters which appear through in specific conditions. Rare variety of also with a particularly evil disposition. This strain has yet been caught in the camp, and it's hunted in the Damascus West of Sand. Now I could keep doing that over and over and over and over again <laughs> until I um until I've got a really big chain and I can easily just um <laughs> and um I, I can e I can easily get some um, really great prizes. However though, I'm not gonna go too far with this. How many phoenix stones have I got? Yeah, uh, okay, I'll do it one more time. Annoying thing, just annoying thing. But as soon as it teleports there, it isn't targeted straight away. Okay, let's see. Phoenix down. Let's see, what is with that? Okay, come on. There we go, it's dustier. See, and that got a bigger ball game. You get a thousand experience and three license points. I decided to leave it there just to show you how awesome this can be. Remember though, to keep grinding this monster, you have to make sure that the experience and license points do not reappear. As soon as you kill it, run away. Then come back and then it should appear instantly. You can do this to easily level up right here. I'm already on level nine. Now, I'm not gonna level up any further than this because that'd be cheating. But yeah, there you go. That's how you do it, basically. See, I could... I'm an HP critical and all, but yeah, whatever, I don't care. See, easy. Easily cheese this boss for a ton of XP. And I get the Book of All Game, which sells quite a bit, actually. Just, uh, I gave it to a potion just in case. I'm gonna better save sorry. And that was the first way we were going to get. Now I'm going to show you the next rare game, which can be killed in the exact same way. The only difference is, is that you can't um, you can't zoom in and out of it. Not really. Not at this point, anyway. It wouldn't really work as much with all the other monsters nearby. Yeah. Yeah, you can easily gain a lot of experience this way. It's awesome. I used the three Phoenix Downs on that there, but it was worth it just to show you the method. You can keep doing that over and over again. You, just as long as you have Phoenix Downs, you can do it. And remember, you can the, the Book of Again tells quite a bit, so you can easily um, go back, get all Phoenix Downs to keep the process going over and over again. I'm going to heal though, of course. I'm not going to show you that now. But now I'll show you where that first rare game is, Dustier, which is in the, uh, hmm, which is in the Wester Sand. So let's go sell this bad boy. Let's see how much, how much we can sell it for. Then afterwards I'm going to show you one more rare game. This one's a lot harder to appear. That one only appears if you have 10% HP or less and you go to that area. Which is the white to um, the entrance of the rest of the sand. 
next one, somewhere game only appear during percentages, like it comes at a certain percentage, like 10% or whatever, actually I think this monster actually comes comes in at 10%, which makes it even more annoying. Okay, let's have a look see what we got here. There it is, 532 gil. See? You see? It's pretty much like a steel. You can easily grind for Phoenix Downs this way. You can kill it when it drops that all game book and you can buy two Phoenix Downs to make up not only for the one Phoenix Down you use, but for an extra Phoenix Down as a profit. See? I don't have nine again, I only have eight because I didn't grab all those other drops it did. But <laughs> yeah, pretty sweet, huh? I'm going to show you one more rare game. I'm only going to show it you just in once though, not to do because you can't do a chain thing with it, so this would be a waste of time. And the only way it would come back is if I exit that rest of hand completely, all zoning out in two screens. Wait, where the hell am I going? Uh, what am I doing? Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is the town gets confusing at first. I get my bearings eventually. Alright. Do 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 do. But yeah, it's a pretty sweet method to do. You can level up a lot earlier. No, well, they're on like a higher level now because of that. I'm going to save just in case because um, I did pretty well on that method and I don't want to get killed doing this. Okay. See, I already gained that, that, that many levels because of that. It's, it's such a simple method. And because I only have Van in the party, he levels up even quicker. That's how I got that 1000 XP. Now, if I, if I had Penella with me, then it'd only be like 500 or something. Which would still be pretty good in getting levels and stuff, but it, if you just want to start here with, with the Van, then yeah, it's just use Van. Ugh, I'm pretty slow, aren't you, computer? Yeah, mind, load up. Yeah, there we go. This is the correct condition I'm talking about. You get a random sandstorm right here. Okay. You see the other part that's that's already um highlighted up and stuff. That's where he appears. <laughs> Over there, the other way game which you're looking for is in the middle. Yeah, I remember him being in the middle. I'll check my guide quickly. Turns here every single way game location. No. Come on, where are you, where games? One of the guys tells you where every single where game is. Nope. 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 Almost there. Come on, where is it? Don't make a lie out of me. Oh, maybe it's in this section. Yeah, yeah here we go. Let's have a look. Where is that son of a gun? Nope. 
No. Oh, sorry. What the heck? Come on, where is it? Screw it, I'm going to the beastery instead. Ugh. I'm so sorry about this, folks. Just making sure I know exactly where it is so I don't waste your time. <laughs> Funny enough, they that bet by doing this, and I'm also wasting your time. I don't know, I've already got that one. <laughs> there we go. Where is it? Ah, there we go, in the mid front. And there's a 20% chance of probability of spawning <laughs> although whether it's deserty or whether it's a storm or not isn't really so so that's the middle part which also isn't very far this is one screen away Now this is where gaming is particularly important because I'm trying to get a piece of equipment early. I will try and get some piece of equipment early, you know, just to because I've never done it before and I want to see um, how cool it is. But I won't go out of my way to get every single race where equipment early and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh wait a minute. Oops. Libra. Always, always with the Libra. Though the rest of the sand has some pretty sweet items that you can get in protest, some nice moats as well. And let's see if I can get this monster up here. It's only 20% probability. If not, I just have to exit two screens and no, that's not it. No, that's not him. Ooh, that's a pack. No, 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 no. Where is it? It's found here somewhere. No, that's not it. Dang it, it isn't appearing. Uh, I guess it isn't appearing this time, but it's a 20% chance of probability of appearing. Yeah. Yeah, that Findelint isn't appearing, unfortunately. Dang damn it. No reason appearing at all. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, uh, it's it percentage is only twenty folks, so yeah. Oh, crap. Run, run, run. Ooh. Just in case I'm gonna exit this entire west of sign area and then come back later on. Yeah, if you want a month, but yeah, best place to try and... Huh? Oh! Yes, yeah, sometimes if you're lucky, you, you see other enemies here. Oh, I mean, you'll see um, other allies here. Randomly fighting enemies. Like so. Yeah. He's green, he's not a bad person. He isn't like the typical green enemies. They're, they're pretty, they're, they're good guys. <laughs> See, they just, they just randomly roam around fighting enemies and all that. Out of curiosity. 
How much health do these guys have? Ah, well, that's the Watchmen. Oh, they have about 220 HP. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes people like disappear. Just don't, at as long as you don't attack them, they won't attack you. Yeah, that's some pretty sweet. Hmm. Ooh, moat. That's what I was talking about by saying my moat. Basically, they act as like a spell which you can use instead. So they're pretty good. Yes, so he didn't appear at all. Hmm. I'm going to keep trying to spawn him and see if he appears. And then I'll probably just cut ahead when he does. Because I only want to show this once and that multiple times. There he is. That's the way again, the Finderland. Got ya. Ooh, that was lucky. Okay then. Now, this guy's tough and usually kill you instantly. However, with a Phoenix down. Oh, he didn't drop anything. Uh, uh. Oh, the thing I wanted him to drop was a bone fragment. I need the five of those to help make the cypress pole. Son of a... Ah, great. But at least I've showed you him anyway. But yeah, you have to keep killing it with Phoenix Downs. Hopefully try and get it to spawn. And hopefully try and drop all those um, bone fragments. You need five of them. I'm going to do that off screen. But I'm going to end this video now before it goes a bit too long. Crap, it went the wrong way. Ugh. But yeah, that's how you get that rare gain to spawn. It's, it's, it's trip probability by 20%. So you don't always get him. You have to just pray and hope that you do. Hmm, what's in this chest? Ooh, remedy, nice. But I'm going to do that off screen. He will drop a bone fragment if you are lucky. And if you're even more lucky, he'll drop a heavy lance. But that's a weird drop though. So yeah, don't, don't expect that to always come. But yeah, you, you can get quite the experience of fighting those as well. But yeah, it's, it's not the same as um, those just here. Shoot, go away and I'll find you. Yep, I'm going to get those off screen. I just want to show you where you spawn and stuff. Oh well, yeah, I'm doing pretty well today. Got me the fixed hero hunt. And not only that, we found not one but two rare game monsters. Awesome. You know, not every rare game are going to be like that to get. Not exactly the same. Some of them are really a real bitch to get. Like, ugh. 
I don't want to read soon enough. Here it is, the Findeliant. Dark skeleton born out of dies in the desert. This strain is yet a good camp animals and hunting the massive rest of sand. There we go, that's the other way again. Trust to just here is much easier to spawn. Because it's a guaranteed when your HP is at 10% or lower. This is the percentage chance by 20% so you don't always get it. But at least I've showed you now where he is. Pray he drops a bone fragment and if he does then uh, zone out two screens. Better safe than sorry though is to say if you do get one every time. Because those other monsters are pretty tough you don't want to find them just yet. Save successful. Awesome. But yeah, I've uh, yep, yeah, like I said today, we've got um, I done we done pretty well, folks, pretty well. But next time we are going to get the Cypress Pole, which is a group you should get, which you usually can't get straight away, but you can get early on with the right methods. You need um five bone you need five bone bone fragments, which um you can get for that once today. You can, um, that's the succulent fruit, which is a really far away. You have to go quite a trek to get that, but I would get those as well because you can steal them as well as to fight and drop them. And the earth stones, which we've already got those. <laughs> but with that, yeah, this is Massive in 347. Gamers all types for an RPG, the platformer. Stay classy.